Hi and welcome. This is a brief tutorial about how to use Blender using a Mac laptop with a trackpad. I'm very new to Blender and animation and I was very surprised. I found it very difficult to find the information I needed to even get started using Mac and a trackpad. So I decided to create these this tutorial even though I'm completely new to this and uh, let you know what I have found out. Okay, so first of all the uh, system trackpad settings. So this is a system preference trackpad window. Uh, okay, a lot of these it doesn't matter what you use but I will show you the ones that I have found that were very necessary to, to get set correctly. So, uh, Pinch, open, and close is important. Um, it's the only good way to do a uh, zoom that you can control accurately within Blender that I have found. Uh, screen zoom, the option that's really helpful is set so the pointer is at or near the center of the image and that lets you uh, control where exactly you're zooming into. Um, I use for secondary tap the double mouse tab is shown there right now and in the blender documentation this is what they what they call the uh, right mouse button click is a secondary tap okay um, I do the three finger dragging but if you do one if you used to one finger tra dragging that's fine too Okay, and it doesn't matter, either of these don't, settings don't matter. Okay, so moving on into Blender. So this is your standard startup file. So I'm coming up here, up to the left, to the File menu, to the User Preferences window. So the things that are important um, is come over to Input, um, emulate 3 mouse button is important for using the Mac trackpad. Uh, emulate numpad is also quite important if you want to be able to switch views, uh, views easily. Um, the other thing that's important is um, if you want to be able to use proportional editing properly, and you do, come down to the very bottom of the screen and click on transform modal map. The, the little uh, triangle opens it. Okay. And find increase proportional influence and decrease proportional influence, the keyboard versions of it. And by default, these are page up and page down, but our keyboard doesn't have a page up and page down. So I have changed them to up arrow. And the way to change it is just click on it, it says press a key, press the key. So, okay, it's also very important to save your user settings after you've made any of these changes, or the next time you uh, reload, you will lose all these settings. Okay, so uh, how to navigate your screen. So in order to move the camera to rotate around things, I'm just dragging uh, two fingers back and forth. Just a regular drag, no keys pressed. So in order to pan the screen, hold down the shift key and then do the two fingered drag. Okay. And then to zoom into this cube, I uh, put my cursor over uh, the cube and then I pinch out to zoom in and pinch in to zoom out. Sorry, I had that. got that backwards, but you get the idea. Okay. Um, other important things is where the document, uh, documentation or some of the other tutorials say to press the option, the alt key on the Mac keyboard that is the option key. Uh, so uh, in terms of where they say control, uh, a lot of the standard functions on the Mac, we use the command key. So used to doing uh, command S for save a file, um, it's the same in uh, Blender. But where uh, the non-standard commands that say to use the uh, control key, do use the control key on your keyboard. 
Okay, um, on a laptop, if you want to use one of the function keys, for example, like in order to render, you need to hit F12. Well, on a Mac laptop, you have to hold down the function key while you press the F12 button in order to get the, uh, the actual function instead of its alternate, which is fooling with the volume control. So that's true for all the function keys. Hold down the FN key in order to actually do the function key. Okay, um, proportional editing. So this took me the longest time to fi figure out. So I will uh, get rid of the cube and add a UV sphere to make this clearer. Okay, it's selected. I will tab into edit mode and deselect most of the vertices and I will zoom in on it. Okay, so I'll come down here and turn on proportional editing. And uh, with the vertex mode selected, I will click on one vertex. And uh, to use proportional editing, start to drag and you will see the size of the influence circle. And with, after starting to drag and without letting go, you can then hit the up arrow key to increase the size of proportional influence and or the down arrow key to decrease the size of proportional influence. So be sure to do that after you start dragging but without letting go. And okay and I will do it one more time. Start dragging. Grab uh, Start dragging, up arrow to increase the influence, down arrow to decrease the influence. So I think that's all you really need to get started learning the influence. So I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.